Many of you joining us today are offering a car allowance to your employees who drive for work. A car allowance is one of the most popular vehicle reimbursement methods that's offered in-house. There are many businesses that offer a car allowance. For most, it's a necessity. For others, it can be seen as a perk. A reason why you may be offering a car allowance to your employees is that is it intended to be a catch-all solution that covers all aspects of business driving like gas, car insurance, wear and tear, and other vehicle expenses. It can also be seen as a perk to new employees. When they negotiate their compensation, a car allowance is often one of the first things that's brought up as a value add to a new hire. But they can be deceiving. Firstly, car allowances are almost never what they appear to be on paper. An $800 car allowance translates to a few hundred dollars less per month due to income tax deductions. They inflate a salary and lead to unnecessary taxes deducted each month. This is extremely wasteful, not only to the employees, but to you as an organization, where your dollars could be better used elsewhere. Secondarily, car allowances are also blanket payments that do not account for regional vehicle costs like gas, insurance, or repairs. Someone in Ohio is spending less on fuel than another rep in California. As well, ownership costs vary wildly across different regions. Things like insurance, licensing, taxes, I could go on. Car allowances do not differentiate between these costly differences. <clears throat> Finally, a car allowance is rarely offered to every employee. Only some select few get one. It can lead to resentment against non-allowance employees as they see it as a salary bonus versus a necessity to pay for a car. Therefore, a drop in overall employee happiness can result. All of these factors contribute to employee satisfaction and turnover and impact the success of your business.